Joining me on this broadcast, spokesperson of the BJP, Guru Prakash Paswan, Gansham Tiwari, spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party is with us as well. Congress leader Kamru Chaudhary and Professor Geeta Bhatt, an academician and political analyst, joins us on this broadcast. But let me begin by asking you, Kamru Chaudhary, do you agree with what Jairam Ramesh said, the kind of analogy that was drawn as far as Savarkar and Gorse is concerned and Geeta Press goes? First of all, let me just, uh, just uh, uh, remind your viewers the citation that the government brought out. It says like this, Gandhi Peace Prize 2021 recognizes the important and unparalleled contribution of Gita Press in contributing to collective upliftment of humanity. I have no objection to this part of the citation. Hmm. But this part which we have got huge objection is which says, which personifies Gandhian living in true sense. Now, Mr. Poddar, the man whose simplicity, uh, uh, who was influenced by the simplicity, the self-service, the spirituality, mm. that person whom we call Mahatma, uh, was intense that suddenly after uh, maybe it, uh, in the 30s, I suppose, that he was, Mahatma Gandhi was no longer Mr. Poddar's hero. Mm. And because the biggest stumbling block and challenge to the traditional Hindu order was brought about by Mahatma Gandhi. There were differences with regards to the Harijan's entry to the temples. Mm -hmm. There were differences to the Pune pact. There were lots of differences between the two. Even, you know, when after Mahatma Gandhi's assassination, the, the uh, uh, Nathuram Godse uh, was involved in that and the banning of the RSS, the uh, Poddarji and uh, and another person, I suppose, Goenka ji, hmm. they were both arrested. Hmm. In that time also, G.D. Bilda, he refused to help the two. And even protested when Sir Badridas Goenka took up their case. Hmm. For Bilda, the two were not propagating Sanatan Dharma, hmm. but Shaitan Dharma. Sure. This is not made by me. These are written in the manuscripts. Hmm. present in the Gita press itself. Hmm. This says the, from the unpublished manuscripts of Poddar's biography, which says the manuscript squarely blames Mahabir Prasad Poddar, a former manager of Gita press hmm. and close aide of Hanuman Prasad and Goenka for spreading suspicion against the two for alleged involvement in Gandhi's killing. Hmm. Due to various reasons, Mahabir Prasad is spreading the malicious rumor that Bhaiji, Gita Press and Kalyan are responsible for the association. So hmm. now the point is that these two, they are somewhere, whether their involvement was there or not, that sure. is not at all a question here. Sure. The question is, what part of Gandhian values did the Gita Press imply? Sure. If it was for spreading some religious text, printing religious books, and publishing for the benefit of the humanity, I have got no problem. Sure. But so because you quoted, because you quoted Kamru Chaudhary, sure. Because Kamru Chaudhary, you quoted a few things. I'd like to quote a few of my own as well. And this is also documented, uh, well available in the public space. Uh, this is an excerpt that, in fact, one of the books that talks about Gita Press and Mahatma Gandhi goes to say that though Poddar opposed Gandhi through Kalyan, privately he respected the Mahatma. In 1940, when Gandhi set up the Goseva Sangh, Jamnalal Bajaj wrote to Podar seeking his views on the constitution of this particular organization. Bajaj requested Podar to then be a part of this Sangh. To which Bajaj then said that it really was Mahatma Gandhi's idea that Podar should be a part of this entire organization. So there are two sides, two sides of the same story. No. Can you completely ignore that particular aspect of the relationship that the duo shared and just concentrate on this particular one if that, that in itself is the only issue as far as the the award goes? No, no, what he said, you you can't remember all those words. I cannot understand many of Bapu's ideas and work. Hmm. In many cases, my heart openly opposes them. Hmm. They create problems for me, but then Bapu is Bapu. Hmm. After all, what has Mahatma Gandhi's views to do with Bhakti to Bapu. Correct. Now, you, you, the ideological shift that you must understand out here is that where Gita Press, Mr. Puddar or Goenka ji, they were propagating a particular uh, side of the uh, society that is publishing religious texts, religious books, publishing it. Sure. Now, once this Gita Press, however hard they may try to deny that they are not involved in any side of the political divide, but the pre independence, they were involved in propagating Hindutva. Somehow or the other, somehow or the other, Poddar was very much actively involved in the Hindu Mahasabha. So he the issue is, so the issue is that they propagated the Hindutva and they furthered the agenda of one particular religion, which is why they are not deserving of this award. Is, no, am I getting that right, sir? Ten seconds. Ten seconds, I will take. Okay. Sure. Now, if Gita Press was propagating a particular thought process, 
or a particular religion mm. then i will say that in that case devan madrasa also was propagating peace love mm. spreading the message of islam from 1867 mm. now now you cannot compare and say okay fine gita press is propagating hindu religion Zoom that's why they deserve the gandhian peace award sure. no this is hypocrisy out here sure. that's where my objection is and my i believe most of my party men will be uh, will be echoing my thoughts also sure Sure. Well, there seems to be a divide within the Congress party as well, which is why we haven't been able to get uh, too many Congress leaders on record to either back or distance themselves from Jairam Ramesh's uh, remark. But leaving that aside, I want to get in uh, Geeta Bhatt as well, uh, an academician who would shed some light as far as the role of this particular organization goes. Geeta Bhatt, do you agree with the argument that's being made that because one particular religion and its agenda was being furthered by this particular organization, it's not deserving of a peace prize? Well, Kunam, you know, uh, as you very extensively just showed, uh, you know, in the initial onset of the program, that uh, Gita Press, as a publishing house, you know, which is which has been dedicated for the last hundred years in spreading the uh, principles of Sanatan Dharma by mm. publishing books which are uh, primarily based on Hindu uh, spirituality and philosophy, which definitely propagates. Uh, you know, inclusivity, harmony, and peace. Mm. And it has, it has been doing it at such a low cost. And uh, please remember, without taking any advertisement, without taking any mm. donations, they have gracefully accepted the award and have denied the one crore fee, uh, cash prize which comes along with the uh, with the Gandhi uh, prize. Which I may add was also at the insistence of what Mahatma Gandhi is believed to have told uh, Poddar back in the day. It, it right. was a, it was an advice that was, that came in from uh, the Mahatma himself. But right. anyway, go absolutely. ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, if such a if such a publishing house, which for the last hundred years, which is one of the largest publishing houses, and you look at the quality of their books, the you know the kind of print is there, the kind of grammar that is used, editing, it is. I think this is uh, it was long overdue, and the government needs to be congratulated for this. Mm. And I would also like to point out over here that when it comes to differences, Ravindranath Thakur was a staunch, you know, critic of Mahatma Gandhi on on his non-cooperation movement, and mm. he wrote extensively on it. Mm. Does that mean that you know Gandhi ji would have opposed uh, if when Ravindranath Thakur got the Nobel Prize? Mm. Would, would he have uh, you know opposed it? Secondly, I would also like to bring forth the kind of ecosystem that works. You know, Congress Party. It seems that somehow they they are not able to come out of their colonial mindset. Mm. And also, if you if you look at this, that there there is a total disconnect with the common masses. Because if you in general, if you go out and ask in the society, people are very happy to know this that mm. Gita Press has been awarded this prize. Mm. And also, if you look at you know Mr. Jairam Ramesh in his tweet. He quotes the author called Mr. Akshay Mukul yes. and his book, and all these references have been taken from this book. Yes, you know which have been quoted. Now this particular, I'm just trying to put forth the ecosystem how that that is working behind it. In 2016, this particular gentleman he refused to, uh, you know, accept the prize in the ceremony in the Ramnath Goenka uh, Award. Because Mr. Modi, as a prime minister, was coming and giving those awards, hmm. so it is not that he did not, uh, and it has a cash prize also, by the way. So sure. it's not that he refused the prize. He hmm. there was someone else on his behalf who accepted the award, hmm. but he himself uh, staunchly refused for this particular reason. Hmm. So you look at the, how this ecosystem is working now. Congress is portraying this particular sure. book 